and again we're going to use counting as most of you have done stat windows so far so we want to use that show command to show a count of something so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a button and I'll change this button to I'm just going to call it a goal and so every time I see that goal we're going to we're going to do some counting of goals so every time I see that I'm going to count it and then show that so let's go back in and edit our script here and I'm going to create a variable because we're doing that now I'm just going to call it dollar goal and I'm going to do a count instances where row equals goal very very simple right I'm going to wrap that up in a variable, although I don't need to, but I may want to use goal over and over in my script, maybe to, to do some percentages or something down the track. So I like to put those types of things in a variable, and I'm probably going to call on it again, although maybe not, not today in this screencast. Okay, so let's jump into code mode real quick. Code one goal, and two goals. Okay, so if I look at my script here, oop, I gotta go back to edit mode and select this one. Okay, cool. That shouldn't show anything. Now notice it's still showing fill up. Now that's because it stores the last value. And that's actually a, a desired behavior because you may close your stat window uh, with all of the stats, or your code window, I should say, with all of your stats populated, and you don't want those to execute immediately. So that sometimes is stored. So in this case, I'm going to do a show dollar goal. Okay, so that's going to count the instances in the row, and when I execute this, it's going to give me that too. So let's do a little bit of concatenation here again. the goal count is space there plus goal plus quotes and a period now when I execute that bang the goal count is 2 so that's looking inside of this row and then generating the count number which is 2 1 2 and displaying that in my window 